Question number one read, a bag contains red and blue balls in the ratio of three ratio two. If there are 45 balls in total, how many are red? To answer this question correctly, the first thing we need to do is to understand the concept of ratio. Based on the question, we are given theory ratio two. And what does this mean? It means that based on this question, it means for every three red, there are two blue balls. So the first thing we need to do is to get our total ratio. So we need to get total ratio, which is going to be the sum of the given ratio. So theory plus two is going to give us five. So the next thing we're going to do is to get the total ball, which is we're going to get from the equation. So if you look at the first line of the equation, if there are 45 balls, so the total balls are 45 balls. So what are we going to do? We are going to divide this total balls by the total ratio. So we're going to have 45 divided by 5, which is the total ratio. We are going to have 9. So the next thing we are going to do is to find the ratio of uh, the red. As you can see, the last part of the question, how many are red? So we're going to multiply this 9 by the ratio of red. Remember, 3 belong to red, while 2 belong to blue. So we're going to multiply this 9 by the ratio of red, which is 3. So we're going to have 3 multiplied by 9, which is going to give us 27 red. So this is how to answer this question. Question number 2 read: A trader bought goods for 20,000 Naira and sold them at a profit of 25%. What was the selling price? To get the selling price is going to include the total money a trader used to buy the goods, which is 20,000, then add it to the 20 five percent profit to do this the first thing we need to do is to get 25 percent of twenty thousand, which is the actual money the trader used to bought the goods so 25 percent of twenty thousands is going to be the same as 25 over 100 multiplied by twenty thousand so one 25 can go into itself one times then it can go into 104 times so 1 over 4 multiplied by 20,000 is going to give us 5,000. So this is the 25% of 20,000. To get the selling price, it's going to be the actual money plus the 25% profit. And remember, the actual money is 20,000. Then we add it to the profit, which is 5,000. So everything is going to be 25,000 Naira. So this is how to answer number two question. So question number three. We are asked to find the simple interest on 12,000 Naira at 10% per annum for two years. So this is simple interest question. The first thing we need to do is to recall the formula for simple interest. So simple interest, interest is equal to principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time divided by 100. So all we need to do is just to substitute to this formula. So principal is the actual money which is 12,000 Naira. As you can see, find the simple interest on 12,000 Naira. So this is going to be our principal. So 12,000, then multiply by the rate. At what rate? At the rate of 10%. So multiply by 10, then multiply by time. As you can see, per annum for two years. So the time is in two years. So multiply by two, then everything over 100. So this is going to be equal to, so we can cancel one zero here, cancel. Cancel another zero here, then we cancel. Then 120 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 2,400 Naira. So this is how to answer this question. Question number four. A car travel 120 kilometer in three hours. What is the average speed? So this we're asked to find the speed of a car that travel for 180 kilometer in three hours. So the first thing we need to do is just to recall the formula for speed. So speed is equal to distance all over time so all we need to do is just to do direct substitution so as you can see from the equation the distance that the car cover in three hours is 180 kilometer so the distance is going to be 180 kilometer divided by the time in three hours so the time is going to be in three hours so all we need to do is just to divide 180 divided by 3 is going to give us 60 then kilometer per hour so this is the answer to this question 60 kilometer per hour question number five 
a die is rolled once what is the probability of getting an odd number so this equation uh, is probability equation and we are talking about fair die so note that a fair die has six faces so definitely we are going to have six outcome so first thing we need to do is to draw our sample space so in the sixth phase the first phase we're going to have one then second phase third phase fourth phase and uh, five phase and the sixth phase so this is the sample space of a fair die so if you look at this question is so what is the probability of getting an odd number an odd number from the outcome so we're going to have odd number which is going to be the odd number here are one three and five so this is what we need to answer this equation so what are we going to do we are going to divide the number of odd number by the number of sample space so as you can see the odd number here we have only three number this is going to be three over the number of sample space are six so three divided by six which is going to be the same as three can go into three one time three can go into six two times so we have one over two or zero point five so this is to answer this question question number seven we are asked to simplify two over three plus three over four so this is addition of fraction so i'm going to teach you a simple method to add this fraction without finding the lcm so we're giving what two over three then add it to three over four so the method is called butterfly method so all we need to do is to do a line like this then do another sign like this 3 multiplied by 4, which is the two denominator, multiply them. 3 multiplied by 4 is going to give us 12. We put it at the denominator. Then we bring our division. Then this 4, we just cross multiply. 4 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 8. Then 3 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 9. Then we plus it together. 8 plus 9, which is going to give us 17 over 12. So this is how to answer this question. Question number 8. The marks of five students are 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. Then find the mean. So this one is really easy. What we're going to do is to sum up all this mark divided by how many mark we sum. So we are given the mark. The first one is 10. Then add it to 12. Then plus 14, plus 16, plus 18. Then divided by how many mark? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are five marks. So now we need to simplify. 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18 is going to give us 70 then divided by 5 which is going to be 14 so this is the answer to this question question number 9 read if 3x plus 5 is equal to 20 then find the value of x so this one is just simple linear equation so the given equation is what well, 3x plus 5 is equal to 20 so the first thing we need to do is to take this positive 5 to the right hand side we have 3x equal to 20 and when positive cross and equality sign become negative so we have 3x equal to 20 minus 5 is going to give us 15 then we divide both sides by the coefficient of x which is 3 so we divide the left hand side by 3 the right hand side by 3 so that this 3 can cancel this 3 then x now will be equal to 15 divided by 3 is going to give us 5 so therefore the value of x is 5 question number 10 the perimeter of a rectangle is 48 centimeter if the length is 14 centimeter then find the breadth so what we're going to do is to first sketch the shape of rectangle so the rectangle is like this and from this equation we are given if the length is 14 centimeter so the long side is the length so this place is going to be 14 centimeter then 14 centimeter then we are asked to find the breadth so we're going to hand, find the breadth of this shape so the first thing we need to do is to recall the formula for perimeter of a rectangle. So perimeter, which is P, is equal to 2 multiplied by length plus breadth. So this is the formula to calculate the perimeter. And from the equation, the perimeter of a rectangle is given as 48 centimeter. So we just need to substitute for this formula and find the breadth. So P, in place of P, we have 48 centimeter which is equal to 2, then open bracket. The length that is given from the equation is 14 centimeter, then plus the breadth. Breadth is not given. This is what we're looking for. Right. 
So the next thing we're going to do, we need to divide both sides by 2 in order to eliminate these two. So divide the left hand side by 2, the right hand side by 2, so that these two is going to cancel these two. Then 48 divided by 2 is going to give us 24. So therefore, 24 will be equal to 14 plus B. Now we need to take this 14 from B to the left hand side. So when we do that, it's going to change from positive to a negative 14, which is going to be equal to B. Then 24 minus 14 is going to give us 10. So therefore, the value for breadth is going to be 10, 10 centimeter. Is going to be the value for our breadth. Question number 11. A man bought a car for 800,000 naira and sold it at a loss of 10%. What was the selling price? So the selling price is going to be the actual money a man used to buy a car, which is 800,000 minus the loss, which is the 10% of the money. Now, to solve this equation, the first thing we need to do is to get 10% of 800,000, which is going to be the loss. So, we're going to get 10% of 800,000 Naira. So, 10% of 800,000 Naira is going to be, 10% is going to be 10 over 100, then multiply by 800,000. So, this zero is going to cancel the zero, then this zero will cancel one of the zero. So, we are left with 80 thousand so this is the 10 percent of 800,000 naira. now to get the selling price is going to be the actual money which is 800,000 then minus the loss which is 18,000 so if you take 880,000 from 800,000 we are going to get 720,000 naira so this is how to answer this question